Hello, my darlings. Welcome to this session. Here I'm going to teach you how to find out someone's taste in food by their astrological placements in the birth chart. Now, first thing first, you got to know what element governs what type of food. Fire governs proteins and vitamins and minerals. This is because fire is associated to muscles, to building muscles, to physical activity, and so on. Well, yeah, just joy for life, activity, being active. <laughs> then we've got earth. Earth, earthy vegetables, like root vegetables, green leafy vegetables, and lots of minerals and salt, especially salt. Now, air, fats, any kind of fats. This is according to your own preference, just fats. And then water, sweets, sugar, sugar baby, and carbohydrates. So, these are the, the elements and their food associations. Now, when you want to find out someone's taste in food, the first thing to look at in the birth chart is the second house. The second house in the natural zodiac pertains to Venus in Taurus. This means food. Also other things, but right now we're focusing on food. So the first thing you look at is the sign in which the second house, the, the sign of the second house, the sign in which the second house is in. <laughs> the sign in which the second house is. <sighs> Grandma. <laughs> okay. Then, you look at Venus, obviously. You look where Venus, Venus is and the sign. And then you look at the second house lord. For those of you who do not know what this means, well, let's say the second house is in Scorpio. This means you look at Pluto because Pluto is the planet of Scorpio. The second house is in Aries. Well, you look at Mars because Mars is the planet of Aries. Second house in Gemini, you look at Mercury. Mercury is the planet of Gemini, and so on. Now, I want to give you some examples so you can further understand how this goes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'll start with my, my example. Or... I don't know. Yeah, my example. <laughs> I have my second house in Scorpio. So, oh, oh, by the way, those of you who have second house in Scorpio as well, oh, baby, we are prone to such crisis, according, like in, in terms of material stuff. <laughs> but... This gives a propensity for sweets. Sugar. Sugar. It's Scorpio is water element. So sugar. Also maybe carbohydrates for, for some. It depends. But for me, it's sugar, baby. Sugar, sugar, oomph. Now further, my Venus is in Gemini. This means air element, fats. And I love to combine them. I love combining sugar and fat. And growing up when growing up with an uneducated family, I was given a lot of unhealthy sweets, like you know, those commercial chocolates and all of that. And ah I I, I, I was like mm. but I at some points, I was still 
craving something and growing up I did not know what I was craving. I was craving health, actually, in all ways. Now that I am more <laughs> aware and I am mature, I opt for healthy fats and healthy sugars and healthy combos of these two. Giving you some examples, raisins with nuts, combine them, oh my god, divine, it's divine, and uh, <laughs> since I've got Scorpio in this second house, Scorpio also rules some uh, obsession and is very much associated with sexuality, so you can notice the way I react about my favorite foods, it kind of touches on sexuality. <laughs> Also, dates, combining dates with nuts. Mm. Oh, mm. ah, <sighs> I'm aroused. <laughs> now, if you're a, veg um, a vegetarian, if you're not a vegan but a vegetarian, this can turn out as combining cream cheese with honey. <gasps> mm. And also cream cheese with 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 fruits. Mm. Ah. Now, my second house lord is Pluto because, as I said, I have Scorpio in the second house, and my dear Pluto is in Sagittarius. So I do also like proteins, and my body does require it, and require them, and. Vitamins and minerals. My favorite vegetables are not earthy vegetables. I don't go for carrots. I rarely go for carrots. Probably when... I don't know. <laughs> when I remember they exist or something like that. My favorite vegetables are tomatoes and cucumbers. The reason for it is that they are very, very nutritious and um, watery, watery, and and when you when you taste them, you can feel the explosion of nutrition there. Oh. Oh. so this is my taste in food for food by the tropical zodiac. Siderially, by by the sidereal zodiac. I am a Virgo rising, and so by tropical, I told you my placements. Now, sidereally, being a Virgo rising, I have my second house in Libra, and fat. <laughs> I already told you, fat. Mm. Mm. And this means that. I, my second house lord is Venus herself, because both Taurus and Libra are governed by Venus. So, beside the fact that my second house lord is already Venus, so I don't have to look for two planets, my sidereal Venus is in Taurus. I am divine. And this gives me a very powerful taste for salt. I love salt. And as I told you, sidereally, my second house is in Libra. This gives fat. If I were now to go shopping for cheese, I would choose the, the saltiest cheese of all. <laughs> and actually, I this is the type of cheese I eat. I, I was kind of forced to turn vegetarian lately, not only vegan, mm. but so I I choose the saltiest cheese whenever I, I shop for cheese, and also when I when I eat my my vegetables, 
I, I put a lot of salt on them whenever I have a salad. Ah, oh, a lot of salt, a lot. And I also love spices. Earth placements also give a taste for spices because remember, Taurus is earth. Taurus is the first earth sign. So senses to feel. Mm. You eat something, you want to feel it. You want to. Mm. Ah, on the on that song right there. Uh, spices. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Now, a friend of mine, she's got her rising tropically as the crab. This makes her second house be in Leo. This makes her crave proteins a lot and she loves meat. Oh, she loves meat in a woo way. And her house lord, her second house lord is the sun, which is in the same house as Venus, same sign being Gemini. So this makes her love fats as well. And it's not just this, she loves fried meats a lot, like a lot. What are fried meats? Proteins fried in fat. <laughs> so you see proteins, fat, this combo here for her, how it goes. But tropically, no, sorry, this is tropically. Siderially, she is um, a Gemini rising. Siderially. And it's fun because trop tropically, she's a Gemini sun. <laughs> Siderially, she's a Taurus sun. But a Gemini rising. So this makes her sidereal second house be in the crab sign. And this means that the second house lord is the moon. Now her Venus is in Saurus as well. <laughs> her sidereal Venus is in Saurus as well. Vegetables. And hold on. Her second house lord, the moon, is in Aquarius. And this means fats. Her number one favorite food is French fries. So, a vegetable, a root vegetable, potatoes. In fat, <laughs> French fries. And her list, list of foods, I looked her, at her zodiac, tropically and siderially, I analyzed it and then I asked her, what are your favorite foods? I did not tell her what this is for. And she said the number one favorite food, which I told you, then it, for her it is pork and beef, grilled, grilled pork and beef. <laughs> so this goes by the tropical placements of a Leo second house proteins. And a third favorite food was a certain way of preparing cabbage that is specific to where we, where we live. Cabbage, earth, earth element. And then her fourth favorite foods fast foods just just any kind of fast food and she mentioned all the fast food chains and all of that she she said it's all of them <laughs> and then her fifth favorite food was a certain type of cheese fat so you can see how this plays out by 
the placements. And uh, yeah, I told you my example as well. This is, this is it. Also, if you're an advanced astrologer, you can look for duads or grades. Like, each grade is associated with a certain sign. But I already, like, this is just for fun. Just for the astrologer's fun. <laughs> because we love these, these things. But you don't really need to go that far. You can already see it by the this which I which I told you is enough. Second house sign Venus and second house Lord. This is the <laughs> the basic for this. So please do tell me how this was like, how interesting of a topic it was like, and what are your placements in there for your food preferences, babies. I love you.